Hey there, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now here at Stealthywood, we're always dealing with a ton of business opportunities. And with so many potential deals, it can be difficult to know which ones to prioritize. As you can imagine, we want to focus our attention on leads that will most likely result in a closed deal. Lucky for us, Odoo provides us with the perfect tool to accomplish that goal. Predictive Lead Scoring, PLS. Which is an intuitive machine learning model that Odoo uses to calculate the probability of winning each opportunity in your pipeline. Odoo uses historical data from your company CRM to accurately and automatically, which is the best part, score all open leads and opportunities, giving you a better idea of their potential. In other words, the probability or success rate of each opportunity is calculated by using the data collected from past successes and failures, aka wins and losses. There are a lot of reasons why predictive lead scoring is preferred. For one, manual lead scoring can be super inconsistent, inaccurate, and incredibly time consuming. But with predictive lead scoring, our salespeople can focus on closing deals instead of wondering how to rank and prioritize leads. Odoo provides tons of different criteria options that can be used to calculate all of these success rates. The pipeline stage option is mandatory, but you can use all sorts of things to customize predictive lead scoring to fit your company's needs. It's pretty awesome. All right, now that you've got an idea of what predictive lead scoring is, let's jump into our database and see it in action. So here we are on an empty CRM dashboard. First, we're gonna hop into our settings page from configuration and settings. Now direct your attention over here to predictive lead scoring in the bottom left corner because we're gonna change a few things. So right now, as you can see, the success rate is computed based on both stage and email quality, which refers to whether or not the lead or opportunity has a valid email address. But to be honest, we tend to get client info on the fly and don't always get all of the information. Sometimes we only get a phone number. That doesn't mean we can't close the deal and it doesn't mean you can't either. So I think it's time to update these probabilities. So we're gonna use this convenient update probabilities button. Now I'm gonna get rid of email quality and immediately I'm gonna start typing in country. So I've selected country because right now I'd like to actually see the success rate of our opportunities based on the stage and the customer's country. It should be noted that you can add as many of these extra fields as you want. So be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, and again here for the sake of this demo, let's have Odoo consider everything created as of today's date. And then with everything ready to go, update. And we're gonna save just to make sure everything is fully there. Okay, we've got our configurations all set up, so let's hop back over to our CRM dashboard. So here on our empty CRM dashboard, it's time to create some opportunities so that we could see our predictive lead scoring feature in action. So let's start by selecting new in the top left and picking our first one. We're gonna call this one op one, and then we're gonna select to edit it. Now immediately, I wanna direct your attention over here to the extra information tab. Now for this contact information, we're actually gonna enter Belgium as the country in here. And we're already set. Now, sure, we'll likely have other customer info, but for right now, we're just going to enter the country just to showcase just how little Odoo needs in order to actually accurately and automatically calculate the success rate of opportunities. Now, you'll notice probability right now is at a very bad 0%. This is because Odoo doesn't have any historical data to draw from to make its calculation. But once that we mark this opportunity as one, boom, we jump from zero to 100%. All right, now let's create another Belgian opportunity by selecting new in the top left. This one, let's just call it op two. And then once again, we wanna select the country as Belgium. Now, I know you guys have already seen this because you're very keen right now. And you'll notice that the probability this time around is in zero. It's much higher than the previously seen 0%, even without marking it as one. That's because Odoo recognizes a higher chance of winning this deal based on previous opportunities as well as leads in our pipelines. Now let's mark this opportunity once again as one and boom, goes back again to 100% because it's officially been one. And that makes sense, right? Okay, I'm getting to keep saying this. Let's create another new one. And this time we're gonna just keep numbering these. We're at op three. And once again, we're gonna select Belgium as the country because we're making these Belgium opportunities. It's a great place, good waffles. Now you'll notice that once again, the probability, ah, probability, small o doopsie is even higher because the last two Belgian opportunities have been marked as one. If we keep doing that, the probability will be closer and closer and closer to 100%. But we're not gonna do that, we don't like that. We're gonna actually mark this one this time as lost. And lost reason doesn't matter, but we're gonna say too expensive. Now it's dropped down to zero. And if we quickly recreate another new one, and this time around it's the exact same one, we're gonna call this one opportunity four, and we're gonna select Belgium right there, I wanna to talk to you about something right now. Before we actually mark it as one or anything, it's already at 65. It's already decreased significantly. 
That figure continues to be based on the historical data that Odoo CRM is gathering as more and more opportunities or leads work their way through the pipeline. Okay, now check this out. Let's create another with some slightly different things right here at this point. So right now what we're going to do is we're actually going to select this one as it is. We're going to leave this one as just like that. So we're going to create another op. So we're going to pick another country for this one. Let's select new. And for this one, op five, we're going to select a different country, Albania. Now, nothing has changed right now, but let's mark this as lost. Another random lost reason. And I'm going somewhere with this. And immediately we're going to create another one. Six. And again, you'll notice right now that the probability has decreased. And once that we actually mark it as Albania, it tanked even further and it went down. But what happens if I select another country that's unknown, like Algeria? Look at that. It jumped up again. It goes up a bit. And what happens if we select Belgium? Back to the one that we saw because it goes up even more because of the historical data that Odoo is using to calculate the success rate of these opportunities. We have more one opportunities from Belgium. So naturally the probability is going higher than both Algeria and Albania right there. An opportunity's probability can also change when it reaches different stages of the pipeline. Like if we move this opportunity to the qualified stage right now, Look at that. It jumped up quite a lot. Now the opposite will happen when we move it back. It's pretty cool, right? Now we're talking about auto magic. Let's talk about for some reason you want to change it manually, which is totally possible and actually super easy to do. All you have to do is go in here and just type one out just like that. That's it. Boom. But there are some things that you should be aware of when dealing with manual probability. For starters, if you change the probability manually, the probability won't update as it moves through stages. Like if I select qualified, 13%, new, 13% as well, it doesn't change. But don't worry, if you ever want to revert it back to our automatically created probability, you can. All you have to do to go back to predictive lead scoring is actually just hit this little tiny gear right there, and we're back, voila. Oda will replace the manually entered probability with its calculated figure. And there you have it, folks. That's how predictive lead scoring works with opportunities and leads in Odu CRM. Obviously, we'd recommend sticking to the automatic probabilities that are calculated with Odu's predictive lead scoring but you can always use the manual option whenever necessary. And that's great. And that's all for now though. Now let's just say there's a high probability that I'll be seeing you in the next video. And that's always a true given.